Alright, amen. How many of you believe that if the Lord is our shepherd, we shall not be in want? Yeah. Come on now. Let's declare this, this scripture as our prayer in Psalm 23, okay? Naniniwala po ba kayo na we shall not be in want if we will make the Lord our shepherd? Alright, so let's declare it, okay? The Lord is our shepherd. We shall not be in want. In other words, Lord God, we acknowledge you that you will be our shepherd and our provider, Lord God. In you, we will not lack anything. Lord God, we will be well provided. Sik, sik, lik, lik, atumaapa, Lord God. Lord, there will be provision, Lord God. We will not lack, Lord God, when it comes to paying our tuition fees, Lord God. Lord, we will not lack in, in terms, Lord God, of paying our bills, our utilities, Lord God. Lord, we will not lack, Lord God, in baon or allowance. Lord God, we will not lack, Lord God, in food, clothing, and shelter, Lord God. You bless me, Lord God. You come in, Samin. Mapupuno ng pagkain, Lord God. Lord God, you table namin. Magsasend na masasalap at healthy food. Thank you, Lord. Maintenance of house. Maintenance of heart. You will provide, Lord God. Lord, savings namin. Magkakaroon kami ng savings sa bako. Lord, yung mga utak namin, mababayaran namin, Lord God. Lord, it makes us lie down. Lord, thank you for making us lie down in great pastures. Lord, thank you for leading us beside quiet waters. You refresh us, our soul, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for you are giving us rest in everything we do. Lord, thank you for you are allowing us to have our own vacation this year. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to travel, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for the promotion, Lord God, that you're giving your people. Thank you, Lord God, for giving increase the salary. So that I income, Lord God. Lord God, sa mga commission, thank you. You will be the one who will give increase to your people. Increase this year, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. You restore our soul, Lord God. You guide us along the right path for your name's sake, Lord God. Kahit na maging abundant kami, Lord God. Kahit na maging, maging prosperous kami, Lord God. We will not forget your name. Lord, you will always be our God. Lord, we will never make money as our God. Lord, you will be our God. So thank you, Lord, for restoring our soul. And though we experience abundance, Lord God, we will still be guided. We will still be led by your spirit. Lord, even though we walk through the valley of shadow and death, we will fear no evil. For you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us, Lord God. Lord, bad news will never bring fear to us. Lord God, sickness will never bring fear to us, Lord God. Lord, economy will never bring fear to us. For your economy is different from our economy, Lord God. You are rich. You are rich. Your only resources belong to you. So we love ourselves up to you right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Lord, thank you for giving us strength. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us the perseverance to continue this fight of faith. Thank you, Lord God, as we run the race, we will finish this race, Lord God. You anoint our heads with oil. Thank you for the wisdom. Lord, we thank you for the wisdom and understanding. Thank you, Lord God, that we will be wiser than our teacher. That we will be intelligent, Lord God. There will be strategies upon strategies, Lord God. There will be plans, Lord God. Lord, our cup overflows. It will overflow. It will overflow. It will overflow. Surely, your goodness, your love will follow us for the rest of our lives. 
We declare this, Lord God. We declare this. We declare this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. One word to say to you today. Now, I just believe that the Father's heart for you right this moment is that He wants to bless you with riches that are abounding. Now, you know, money can't buy us happiness all the time. And I study economics, and I learned that, that happiness, can, that income cannot always buy us happiness. But Jesus said, I have come, and I've come to give you life to the full. All right? And you know, I just believe today that God has, one, has a message for you. Because, you know, God wants to bless us, but we have to respond the right way. Is that right? We have to respond the right way. It says here in Proverbs 22, verse 4. Proverbs 22, verse 4. Humility is the fear of the Lord, and its wages are riches, life, and honor. Now I'm praying this for you guys, all right? Because you know, guys, man, I just believe the Father's heart for you right now is to be rich. And riches is beyond how much money we have in our pocket. It's beyond what school we're in. It's beyond, guys, how big our house is. But its wages, its wages are riches, honor, and life. So I just want to pray for you. Father, God, I pray that you bless these people the way I know you want to. I just pray, God, that you would fill us.